Because if it wasn't me, I definitely commence. Yeah, I'm so. pretty sure you get it already. Food party. The only thing I say keep an eye out for this trial is when the ads show up, these ice golem ads. Okay. I'll try to track it, but you want to help get rid of the golems when they show up. You should never have come here, Ward. Oh, it's uh, voice actors. I labor only to forge a lasting peace. Yep. A peace is a denial out of ignorance and blind faith. No matter. If it is our fate to be at odds, then it is mine to strike you down. We whom gods and men have forsaken shall be the instruments of our Let's see, we got two cat dudes, two cat girls, and two Okay, it's time to fight Shiva. Yep. Oh, it's the others. Oh, one of the prisons out of the house. Alright. Okay, here we go. Uh, really, dude? Yeah, somebody just got fucking annihilated straight away there. Yeah. The one who shouldn't have been, because he was a freaking DPS and a monk. Speak up, you that crap. Usually it's me who plays really shit. What? Usually it's me that's playing really shit. Somebody else is even shitter than me. Okay, move that oh, one. Yep, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm out of it. Yeah, don't. When you see something like that, it looks like five circles, you want to get in between wherever the circles are not. Yeah, I did alright. I didn't take any damage because I got out of the way. Okay. Took a tiny bit of damage there, but nothing much. Oh, you got some of the golems. Okay. I would be right on top of one, wouldn't I? Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. I'll deal with this one. Oh, fuck. This one likes me. Fuck. We're gonna get this, dude. Everybody's still up, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not much you can do about this. Is this where you touch her? I think this is her version of Diamond Dust in this game. Oh! Oh, she goes with Deep Freeze. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing you can do to avoid. I hate the fucking attacks you can't dodge. It seems such a, it's so unfair. Oh. Yep, don't worry, I'm getting out of it. Yep. Basically, they... Oh, I got hit by it. If I was out yeah. of it, you know. I you have to watch how, kind of how, which order they appear and exactly how to avoid them. Yeah, I, I thought I was, and I actually think I wasn't, and I went out of it because it didn't look right where I was, so. Yeah. Oh, this song is fucking rocking, but I can't hear it. Here's another trial later on, too, that 
Like, way down the road, bro. Oh, I got oh, stunned in one minute. Actually, I just left them there. We probably would have won the trial anyway. Oh, well. Oh, well. Not an accommodation, though. They're a good dancer, I suppose. Everybody else is. Okay. Just give a player accommodation really fast. Yeah. Okay, two combinations. Nice. Oh, I got one. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. I play good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cutscene after. Okay. Is it voice acted? Um. I'll let you know in a minute. Second. It seems like it would be. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll let you. For a few minutes. Fool blind bloody fool. You of all people should understand the suffering war begets. That no sacrifice is too great if it brings an end to the violence. Mine is the righteous cause. <laughs> you fight in a war you do not understand. A pawn of liars and schemers. And they are no less ignorant than you. Following the creed of their fathers without question. Never thinking to ask why. Trapped in a delusion of their own creation and blind to the truth. Warrior of light, redemption is not beyond us. We who walk before may lead those who walk after. Seek the keeper of the lake. See with eyes unclouded. No. Do not squander mother's gift. withdraws a predictable outcome nevertheless la habrea will be pleased how unfortunate okay cutscene done Currently sp speaking to more Brida, more uh, I don't fucking know the Cockney sound. Yeah, right else. outside there. Yeah.
All right, quest complete. And the road less traveled. Yep, that's the one I'm on right now. Now if we go back to White Brim Front first. Ah, uh, fair enough. I gotta get through dialogue first as well, so whatever. Yep. I see the uh, the teleport offer for the Camp Dragon Head. I'll probably use it in a minute. Yeah, once you've done it, wipe for a friend, you can use it. So, Shiva looked pretty fucking awesome, admittedly. Yep. I did love the design. I thought it was fantastic. Fun boss fight as well. Oh, excuse me. Any idea what you're going to stream tonight then, dude? I have no idea yet. Ah, oh, fair enough. As if I stream time, I'm still kind of undecided on it, but... At least i got plenty of time. Yeah. The night is young, at least for you, anyway. Yeah. It's only like, uh... About 9 o'clock, is it, where you're... Where you are? Well, it's 7.47 right now. Oh, it's not even that, fuck. Oh, yeah, you're not on uh, the East Coast, are you? No, I'm in Central, which is an hour behind that. Well, for me, it's like uh, quarter to two in the morning, so... Up we go... Let's speak to Alphanard. Yep. This is another thingy cutscene. No, nope, it's not. Okay, don't have to be quiet. So I believe now thirty or thirty-one quests away from Heaven's Ward. We're getting there. We're getting there. Might not be episode one fifty, but it won't be long after that if it, uh, if we don't reach it by then. Are you part of any free companies or anything, Nova? With this character, no. No, I just meant in general with the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got I'm part of an FC and. Uh... The character I've played the most, and then my all, other alt character I've been playing as recently. Oh, fair enough. Is there anything different with playing in the free company? Um, not really, other than the fact that just because there's other players in there, it's easier to gather people for, like, you know, dungeons Parties and, and stuff. stuff, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. If I ever sit down and just play normally, I might accept a invitation at some point. Yeah. It, that's what those invitations are for, right? Yeah. Okay. If you get an invite to like a free company or somewhere. I guess, I mean, where would you rank uh, 14 like in terms of Final Fantasy games? Where would what? Where would you rank 14 in terms of Final Fantasy games? I'd say it'd be in my top 5. <laughs> oh, I'd definitely say top 5 as well. Probably even top 3. I mean, what is your favorite, by the way? Favorite's 4, yet, yeah, and I think my second still 7, so. But okay, I think enough. 14 may actually be 3rd. <laughs> I'd probably go 7 first. Probably six, and then this, and then it's a toss up between nine and four for fourth and fifth. And I think it's you haven't even seen the story past. Uh, oh yeah, I I really so. enjoy it. It's like when I do pay attention to the story, I do enjoy it. It's just like yeah. I remember just before we had to take on the um um the ultimate weapon at the end of yeah. Rome Reborn. 
We had to go back to the fucking windmill area and help this guy with a fucking rock chisel contest or something. It's like, no, why do we have to go here now? What's the point? What's this got to do with the fucking ultimate weapon, really? Mm -hmm. It's like they try and get it in, but it's like, yeah, we're just padding this uh, this bit out right here. And that yeah. it's stuff like that which I don't like in FF14, but when it gets to the point, I actually really do enjoy the story. And the gameplay is solid, like we said before, so... I'm surprised that uh, Eleven still exists, though I have to admit, I thought by now oh, yeah. it would shut down. But sadly, yeah, well, I don't think I'm ever going to touch Eleven, to be honest. I might get, like, a physical copy just to put in the collection, but... If yeah, I, I don't think it, I'll ever play Eleven myself, mm, either. It, I mean, I've seen the gameplay for it. It looks too archaic. Yeah, like, MMO like... archaic, so... I, and I don't even think it's got controller support unless you get... Like, I don't even think you can get the Xbox 360 version anymore. I don't think the servers are online anymore. I think it's just PC only at this point. Mm. And, yeah, I'm... it's a shame, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I need to go and speak... Can't dragon head. Okay, now I can accept the yeah. teleport. Good thing because I gotta teleport elsewhere now. So. Oh, sorry. You you could have teleported if you needed to. I could have yeah. quite easily have teleported myself. Yeah, you get here. You talk to Hasha fought, and then you have to speak with Sir Emberick, which and that one is a, a uh, voice acted cutscene when you get to that. Okay. The Hasha fought one isn't. Oh, I'm speaking to Harsha Font now. Yep. So this one's not. Nope, it's not. Oh crap, I went to a lot of places. Whoops. <laughs> no, I don't want to go there. Oh! That's in the same freaking place again. There, I want to go to that place. Jesus. Excuse me. Yeah, I freaking warped a cap dragon head and almost did it again. And it's like, no, I want to go to Gregorian's Toll. <laughs> I wonder how long they'll keep this game around. Like, honestly, at this point already, it's been, what? Like, I'm not talking like... Uh, original FF14, I just mean like Rome Reborn. I wonder how long mm. they'll keep it around for. Probably as long as they keep coming out with more expansions for it, at least. Mm, probably. Alright, so I uh, need to now speak with the guard, okay? Yep. That one, this quest. That'll take you to the talk with Sir Emmerich and the uh, knight. That'll be the voice acting cutscene. Is it a long one? Um, I don't know, I skipped, I didn't go through the whole thing, so. Oh, right, well, it's uh, about to start, I'll let you know when it's finished. Oh, another voice I could cut scene. On behalf of the Holy See of Ishgard, allow me to express my deepest thanks. Never before have we been required to contend with a prime. Indeed, there were fears in some quarters that our knights might not be equal to the task. From what we have now learned in these fields, I can say with certainty that we would have lost a great many men had the Scions not intervened. Then the argument for preemptive action should be self-evident. Perchance now you will reconsider my proposal that Ishgard move against Nathalar. Ere we first met, a similar proposal was tabled, but the Holy See decreed that we were to observe and that military action should be taken only in self-defense. All things considered, it was not an unreasonable decision. Since the Calamity, two vigils have fallen to the Horde, while Garuda has never shown any inclination to storm the Gates of Judgment. Which is why this unprecedented crisis and its resolution may prompt a change in policy. 
You who have faced these primals know well the threat they pose. Ishgard did not. Not until now. And there is naught like a brush with death to change a man's outlook. At the very least, this should silence any lingering objections to our arrangement with Revenant's Toll. The Holy See may even feel moved to grant us its formal endorsement. So far as it is possible, the Scions shall be compensated for their service. We should be grateful for any aid we can provide. As a gesture of good faith, I shall withdraw my previous request. Your people are doubtless needed elsewhere. That will not be necessary. We, too, have a vested interest in watching Dravania's movements. I see. Once more, I must thank you. Sir Emmerich, if I may, do you truly believe that Midgard Zoma could return? The heavens are a window unto truth, but those who interpret their movements are not infallible. I requested your involvement as a precautionary measure. But of course, you sought an excuse to compensate us from the first, mindful of what would happen if Revenant's toll were taken by your enemies. Ishgard is not wont to aid its neighbors, but that does not preclude it from manipulating them to serve its own interests. Choose your next words carefully. Do you know what sort of man becomes Lord Commander of the Temple Knights? One who comes from good stock. I did not, yet here I am. Now, why do you suppose that is? Because I swiftly learned to tell the difference between words, deeds, and beliefs. You are correct, Master Leveilleur. Ishgard desires to see Revenant's toll flourish as it would present a troublesome obstacle to our enemies from the south. We are so glad to be of use to you. As we are to you. Ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement, lest we forget. One born of necessity. The dragons grow more restless by the day, and the heretics harry us nigh without cease. We have contended with such troubles for centuries, but there are limits to even our endurance. Yet as a pauper is loath to part with his meager possessions, the leaders of Ishgard are not wont to render up their trust to outsiders. But with perseverance on our part, they may yet be made to see the light. Nevertheless, one must take care when walking the road less traveled. Wise words, Sir Emmerich. I shall make a point to remember them. I must apologize for my earlier outburst. I hope it will not sour our good relations. Not at all. You but spoke from the heart. I trust you understand that at times my duties may prevent me from meeting with you. On such occasions, my second in command will speak for me. Listen at your service. Pray excuse our reticence. We are but wary of speaking too freely, lest our sentiments be made known to our enemies. Know that the Lord Commander and I are of one mind. For the sake of Ishgard and of Eorzea at large, I pray our peoples can put aside their differences. Those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. Should aught befall one of our shipments, pray inform Lucia immediately. <coughs> to her any words you might have for me alone. Not being of Ishgardian birth, she owes no allegiance to any noble house, making her as near to incorruptible as one comprising my home land. Suffice it to say, I trust her completely, and so know you. Which reminds me, Lord Orshafon, if you would be so kind. Certainly.
In times such as these, trust is ever in short supply. Mayhap this will go some way to rectify the problem. The results of our investigation into the heretic's recent attacks, as well as our interrogation of the merchant he detained. Sir Emmerich, I cannot thank you enough. Think nothing of it. Ishgard may be many things, but it is no friend to Garlemont. Did I not tell you to have faith, my friend? All right, I think that cutscene is finished. All right. I'm not going to have time to do another one, though. So you want to do yeah. a quick fade or something? Um, unfortunately, I just entered a soul of duty. I had to leave the party. Okay, no problem. Uh, you carry on with that, and I'll... I'll uh, do a quick couple things before I uh, finish off. Uh, yeah. so sell a couple items and stuff like that to finish things off. Alright, so... Uh, where is the closest stalls? <laughs> If there is any around here, that is. We got delivery move. Oh, we have got a merchant over there. Okay. Uh, purchase items. Okay, Something. game. I want to target the freaking death claw. All right, so, oh, Christ, I've got 66 elegant brown pieces. I'll sell those. Uh, silver. A bunch of doodos. I'm just looking for the pieces to sell. Chris, what? Holy shit, that was a lot of money. Uh, um, uh, anything else? I think that was roughly about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm like 4,000 gil short of 500 now. <laughs> Big jump there. I didn't realize I had that much uh, uh, in my inventory uh, just waiting for me. I really should sell some of this. Sh or not sell, but I should probably start using some of this other stuff as well. We got here a cattle needle. I'll take a look at some of the other stuff in here. Yeah, none of that I can use. That's not bad, but no, I can't use that. Never mind. Actually, all the stuff I can use is not as good as the stuff I've already got. Oh well, uh, I'll just head back to where uh, the quest right, be complete. So you've just finished Eyes Unclouded, I guess. Um, the quest I'm on is the reason Royale. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, you're a little bit ahead of me again, but it's not yeah. a massive amount. All right, so uh. Probably ending this off a little bit earlier than usual, um, only by a couple of minutes. Uh, so I, I think we're roughly about 30 quests away from finishing um, Run Reborn now, so we'll definitely get there before the end of my subscription to the game anyway. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be seeing the early parts of Heaven's Ward sooner rather than later. Yep. Uh, thank you to Opa for joining us tonight. I know he's not been in this part, but he has been here for this session. Nova, as always, thank you for joining me. Yep. This would not be going nearly even half as well if you weren't here, believe me. And to anybody watching, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. But until then, sign our people. Yep, see ya.